All right, all right, all right. All right, guys, today we're going to work on this roof of putting the marker lights in, okay? What I want to show you that we've done here, so you understand, as we go, is basically I have cut right here, right here, and right here, and right here. And the reason being is I'm going to weld something across these marker lights to keep the spacing right and the right space apart. So when I go to put it on here and mark it, it's going to be right. So uh, just hold on, stay tuned, bear with us, and we'll be back to you. Okay guys, now you can see what we've done here. We took a piece of half inch square tubing, tacked this together. Now we've cut it out of the skin, laying right here in the floor, all right? Now I'm gonna sand this up all nice and smooth, clean up my edges really good, sand underneath. I'm going to prime the bottom with a well through uh, self etching primer. Then we'll lay it up here, get our measurements that we recorded down, scribe with a scribe trim this roof out try to start setting them in and tacking them in and this here keeps them the, the right distance apart it just takes out some measuring and whatnot you know by tacking this across here keeps the or everything oriented orientated the right way stay tuned let's go All right, guys, let's walk through this. So what I've done is I got this thing exactly where it needed to go, if you can see here, all right, measured it and everything. Then I clecoed it in place, all right? Everything's clecoed in place, double checked all the measurements. Now, I've dyed around all of it, okay? And I'm gonna show y'all a trick a lot of people didn't know. Oh, PVC cleaner here. The dyed PVC cleaner works really good for a, a dye. If you don't have Dicom, or some people use flat black paint, you can get this cheap. It ain't nothing but basically almost like a lacquer thinner with a little bit of a, a dye in it. It works awesome as a Dicom, and it's cheap. You can get it at Lowe's. So that's what I like to use sometimes. And then I have went around here and scribed everything with a scribe. So now I'm gonna pull all this off. All right, 
I'm gonna take a hole saw, pop me a couple of holes, and I'm old school. I'm gonna probably go ahead and I'm gonna hand cut these out with snip.
All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna come show you. We got our marker lights in our roof. We're gonna try to put the roof on here this week. I just wanna show you how the marker lights turned out. Um, they could have turned out a little better as far as like the less, a lot, lot less warpage. If we had the skin off and we could hammer it, it would do better. But we did the best we could because you can't really get a, a dolly anywhere in the roof. So it turned out okay for what he wants. So we'll go around and look at it. So what we've done is if you see, like I said, it's a little low in places, but a little filler and this is gonna be nice and sweet. But we went ahead, put the marker lights in. All right, if you notice there's wire here. Uh, we was gonna go ahead and put the harness back in it, but he didn't want to. He's gonna put the new lights or LEDs so he wanted just some wire here so he could just run and put new wiring in it. So, you know, that's all we could do here because we have a wire running right here coming out actually of the post and we got to fish it back down through the A post in the truck. So stay tuned to the next episode. I'm not sure if it'll be on the truck here or if it'll be on the boogeyman here or it'll be on the cameo or Mama Boogie, or the Boogie Holler. Who knows what it'll be. Um, but be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Chris Dunn, a.k.a. the Boogeyman.